Good afternoon, uh, dear spectators. Uh, um, I am Alexis Zaitsev, uh, Assistant Professor of Skoltech, and I'm going to talk today about adversarial attacks uh, on uh, the artificial intelligence um, models uh, to process the text, and why is it so important that they do exist, and uh, what they help us to understand about the huge models uh, that are more and more often used in different uh, apps. Um, let's start uh, from the very um, far. Let's talk about how uh, those uh, models um, are um, uh, built up as a standard uh, task for uh, um, deep uh, neural um, network is to recognize um, uh, the, uh, this depiction. And at the end, it says that uh, 57% um, um, it is a panda, um, uh, a huge um, uh, black box uh, neural uh, network. And it's uh, very difficult to understand what it can and what it cannot and what can be done for the neural um, network to somehow change uh, the forecast. Um, uh, but since um, uh, still, if uh, they are not quite clear what's going on inside such uh, big um, models, they are very important for us. Um, uh, because every such model, uh, or at least, at least very many of them, uh, um, shows a very good uh, performance, uh, solving a number of tasks. Uh, and the standard example is um, uh, the task that you can successfully solve using the neural networks is uh, um, recognizing uh, the picture. So here are um, millions uh, of um, pictures um, uh, belonging to different categories. And uh, the objective is um, uh, to make a uh, proposition and, and assumption what it is. Uh, and um, if uh, uh, there are a real class of objects among them, then we can uh, say that the model has coped uh, with its task and guessed. And if um, uh, there are no such class, then it means uh, that the model failed. And uh, if uh, we look at the quality of work of the model for this um, uh, uh, for this task uh, with the individual uh, human being um, who is trying to do the same, then the model, um, well, at least two, um, um, two years ago, provided 3.5 percent and uh, of uh, mistakes, um, and uh, the human being 5 percent, which is better. But now, um, uh, well, it is doing better than human being um, uh, identifying the pictures, and that's true not only for something very specific, but very more globally. We can say that for the majority of tasks um, uh, to identify a picture, it uh, turns out um, uh, to be possible to build up such a neural network, which uh, uh, can tell you a story about this picture um, as well as a human being can do. And uh, seemingly, those models are very important. As an example, it can be so, uh, like something as a source of information for um, uh, pilotless um, or, uh, a car or, um, and a vehicle and uh, what it can see, whether it's um, free of charge and uh, what we know about uh, those models. Well, uh, those are big black boxes and what's inside them the scientists don't yet know. Uh, and uh, seemingly, this kind of uh, neural network uh, is very easy to deceive it, to, uh, to cheat, and how to do it. Um, uh, so um, here is the picture, uh, and then add a specially generated, uh, not very um, big one, and then we get uh, the um, picture below. So and it turned out to be the same. So for the human being, uh, uh, it um, he will say that uh, we have panda up there and down there, but if uh, we see this distorted um, uh, picture, then the neural network will uh, think that it's a noise, uh, um, a special uh, noise. And with 100% um, um, sureness, uh, we'll say that it's a gibbon or, or um, uh, an ape. Um, well, it's, um, it so happens that inside all those neural networks, uh, there's uh, the global vulnerability. And we can see that that's the upper thing. Not only for the picture, uh, we 
add uh, some of noise and thus some uh, cheating uh, the neural network. And also we can say the same about the models which are trying using the recorded speech to identify what was said by a human being. We add some noise and if the human being listens uh, to the uh, the um, first and second um, extract, he will say it's the same. Uh, well, for, but the neural network will say that with certain distortion that it will think that that's uh, about opening a door for someone. So it turns out that this kind of um, deceit, um, they are very easy uh, to um, commit uh, for different uh, neural um, uh, um, network, even in real life, uh, because we are not specifically distorting um, such pictures. Uh, we, um, uh, for instance, put a sticker on a road sign which will um, um, make uh, the model to fail uh, to identify it. But when a human being sees it, um, it turns out that um, uh, the, the, the neuron, um, the neuron the network thinks that it's um, a sign, a kilometer sign. And if we, for instance, put the stick um, with um, kilometers, then the neuron network will think that there's, um, it can catch something. Uh, it's uh, some signs of pictures uh, on um, uh, this uh, tortoise, and it will think that it's a rifle. And there are so many, there are galore of such examples. For instance, you can attack uh, those networks just changing only one piece, small piece of um, the picture, like a, a, a white dot, we've changed it, uh, and human being uh, will um, uh, identify it as a horse, but the neural network will think that it's uh, something very different. And uh, uh, moreover, the, we can provide not only for a separate picture, but for a series of uh, um, depictions. We distort the pictures uh, we can use in any um, picture, and then the neural network uh, breaks up. Um, Thus, um, uh, we will get not a very much expected, a very unpleasant result for the neural network. Why is it also possible? Why those attacks are possible is because um, the pictures are very rich, uh, is a very rich source of information with lots of different things inside it. And we, for instance, if you uh, know phot photographing, you can see that uh, the files, um, uh, well, um, made by uh, photo camera, it um, weighs uh, a lot of gigabytes. And uh, there are a lot of different things that you can uh, change and replace for the neural network um, uh, out of all this richness uh, and out of knowledge of uh, what um, is to be changed to uh, deceive the neural network as to where to go, to which direction to go, to distort it. So those attacks are very um, turns out to be very successful. and. Um, and uh, break uh, uh, the, the neural networks, but we can say, not say that it's uh, unique. Well, uh, people or uh, human beings also make mistakes. Uh, to the left um, is a video. When you look at this ball, um, uh, it seems to us that this ball is uh, rolling um, on a very bizarre surface. Uh, no, but to the right, we think that all those um, lines are not exactly vertical, but somehow curved, uh, and, um, and there's a strange and bizarre black thing uh, at the back of it. But if you use a ruler, um, you will see that um, that's exactly the distortion and the attack and the um, deceit that uh, your uh, human being brain uh, can, can do. Well, if a situation is not standard, our brain is incapable of making the right decision. And uh, that's not very unique of neural uh, network. Let's get over to the second part. We now are convinced that everything is possible, that um, whether it's possible uh, to um, exercise it um, in the, um, with the, uh, a text. Um, let's uh, recollect uh, as to why we should interfere into the text and how well the texts are capable of um, solving standard tasks. So the first um, is about um, uh, machine translation, um, um, which is compared um, quality-wise with the human being uh, first. Um, 
uh, it's a professional translator uh, doing uh, the translation, and then artificial intelligence, um, uh, which we called uh, Capit, uh, and then a volunteer um, who um, says uh, which translation is better, using different criteria of quality. And if we look at the general quality of translation, it's um, uh, the similar number of people saying that the neural network is doing um, uh, well and uh, is to the right, and the same number of people voting that uh, this human being is doing also well. But uh, people, of course, are it's a blind test, and they um, are not aware of which translation is done by a human being or by the machine. And the uh, third uh, and the second example as to how the neural networks can um, um, generate something that uh, it's the network which is a recent invention, a recent discovery, and it can, for instance, um, uh, generate an answer uh, 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 to a question uh, which is uh, frighteningly realistic because some people uh, might not um, answer better as if it really understands what's inside and as if it has its own consciousness. But actually, it's a huge black box uh, also with um, um, uh, hundreds of billions of parameters uh, and not clear how it can get down to consciousness. Okay, uh, that's uh, clear that you can um, use, um, well, if we have uh, big black boxes, uh, we, they can also be attacked um, to um, uh, try to break up uh, uh, um, uh, different um, uh, machine uh, learning. Um, machine learning. Uh, um, for instance, um, if, uh, if, you, uh, have, if you buy um, um, a book um, using Ozone, or we can destroy Store the text uh, somehow, and uh, inside we uh, and um, instead we can um, order something at Ozone, um, or for instance uh, we can uh, try to mask um, um, uh, the real and fake news uh, with some facts, um, uh, some uh, with some realistic um, deliberations, um, and um, fix a little bit, um, uh, change the text uh, similarly to the way we changed uh, the picture. And um, uh, well, seemingly, well, and um, we thus thought that all fake news were generated. Uh, they can seem as realistic. And um, number third, number three task is more classical and simpler. When we just uh, try using uh, the uh, AI model to generate spam and uh, for instance using a uh, separate at attack uh, for text uh, for the systems we thus uh, can uh, damage uh, the user and the user will see spam um, uh, more often and transfer his money to some uh, princes in Nigeria so what um, we can uh, whether we can generate this kind of uh, attacks uh, we can check to, to deceive the models uh, of course uh, we don't have this uh, final goal uh, um, to damage uh, the systems and models. Um, it's um, a sort of resilience test, um, uh, rather, as to whether we uh, would be able to attack and, uh, interestingly, whether we will be able to protect ourselves. Um, uh, for instance, as to um, uh, how to change uh, the um, uh, sentence, uh, to change uh, the, uh, uh, the subject. Uh, and you can see by this um, example is why it is difficult to do and why this situation differs from uh, the picture. The first reason is because uh, uh, we um, uh, can add something or and change just one word or just one piece of the sentence, and uh, we will um, uh, should we should be concerned uh, for um, uh, for keeping uh, the sense, uh, the essence um, of uh, the sentence for the model to think that uh, the subject or the topic of uh, the sentence is different, and it's not quite clear where to uh, go in this. Um, for the uh, solutions which were quite popular, used to be quite popular before, so and those attacks, we were trying to find the right word to be replaced. And thus we used um, some um, uh, or some additional requirements uh, uh, should be the same uh, class of uh, speech or uh, similar to the previous word based on another model. But it seems that um, uh, there's a special way um, which requires a lot of different rules. But um, uh, to understand whether we can create this kind of model which uh, uh, will generate this kind of um, uh, consec uh, consistencies. And this, the work we're doing 
doing and similar, uh, and there are other groups of researchers doing similar things, is to gen uh, create a generator instead of uh, which instead of answering question, um, uh, instead of uh, answering questions, uh, it um, um, provides uh, you uh, an adversarial attack to uh, another uh, model trying to distort um, uh, the, uh, the sense, but on the other hand, um, for it to be uh, adversarially um, uh, so for um, uh, the labor um, uh, label would be different. So, and we can see if we uh, generate using our language model, it uh, looks uh, more truthful if you compare with the original text. Uh, seemingly, the um, sense of the text um, is um, contained. But um, moreover, it turns out that um, we. Uh, adding a uh, not very big number of words uh, can change uh, um, the quality of uh, the uh, incoming model. We add two to three words, and um, the um, uh, incoming um, model would um, um, generate, and the adversarial uh, model, um, well, how to get protected. Um, uh, for instance, you can. Um, um, well, we have the first model trying to make uh, the decision um, whether it's a spam or not. The second one uh, generating news, and the second uh, and the third, which it tries to protect from the th uh, second one. Also, for machine learning, whether this uh, certainty uh, is um, uh, ad adversarily distorted uh, based on the um, uh, incoming distribution. And it turns out that if we try to um, learn uh, the detector um, and we train the detector and we can see that the previous generation uh, um, uh, they um, uh, the hot flip uh, and uh, when our um, models uh, against the basic uh, solutions uh, provide similar detection rules uh, with the, um, the probability that uh, we will uh, do it well uh, the third model um, fails uh, at, at the end so Thus, uh, we now have uh, big three robo robots competing with uh, each other. The first um, one is trying to solve uh, the task uh, to identify whether it's spam or not. Now, the second model uh, adversarially uh, um, uh, uh, distorting uh, the essence um, uh, for the first model to break up uh, to provide wrong answer, and the third model, which uh, is trying to stop the second model to understand whether it's a good or bad uh, app um, or um, whether it was adversarially distorted. Um, and it turns out that um, actually the current uh, progress um, shows that uh, we can successfully build up the classifiers of the m model of the the first type, uh, quite uh, well, um, uh, we um, we do we can um, distort the attacks, and the third that, and then we can see the an arms race uh, among all those uh, models, and um, uh, seemingly it goes down to the fact that our basic model, which is unaware of the existence of the, um, the second and third, will be uh, improved, will be better, and we will be able to invent a more effective way of uh, teaching them to be more successful working with the text using the knowledge which allows us um, to understand the distortion, uh, adversarial distortion uh, um, uh, attacks. And uh, formally speaking uh, of uh, those attacks um, over those uh, models and its protection. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I will be happy for questions. Alexei, thank you very much for your presentation. Well, um, what do you feel? Uh, who's winning now? Those who are um, spoiling or those, well, uh, those who are spoiling, they are winning only because uh, we work more with those who are spoiling things. And then the next uh, stage is uh, um, to do better. But on the other hand, as to 
Uh, how serious do you think this problem is? Uh, because it's obvious that uh, people um, also generate a lot of um, fake news and um, uh, and senseless texts. Um, but despite uh, the lack of algorithms, other people are uh, good enough uh, to filtrate uh, the flow to this or that extent and still uh, can get more or less objective information. The question is whether we really need those algorithms, or is it just uh, fighting with something? Well, I mean, um, uh, the, um, uh, uh, well, if uh, all this garbage uh, generated will dr uh, drown somewhere, well, it seems to me that that's uh, a more general question. Whether we can um, trust those models of AI, well, seemingly, if we uh, touched uh, an um, incoming and um, to think that the outcoming is changed, well, I think we have to work harder at the models for them to be higher quality and improved. Yes, indeed, we can improve. Um, the pre-training of the language models using such adversarial attacks. Indeed, uh, there's such uh, there's the model of uh, there are some models doing uh, similar things where, where we are trying to replace words with other words, and the model um, and do, doing uh, for the model not to notice it. Thank you very much, Alexei, for a very interesting presentation.